Hey everyone, welcome back to Climbword. I'm your regular host, VK. And I wanted to make a quick video about uh, Xbox controllers because there is a new updated model out. And I wanted to unbox it and uh, compare with the older version. This one came out together with the Series X and Series S, but it's working also in Xbox One, Xbox One S and Xbox One X. And same thing with the old mo model, it's working for Xbox, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Series S and Series X. They are both comparable with each other. But let's see how the new controller looks. I always like the Microsoft packaging. It's pretty premium, it's nice. And I chose the Shock Blue. There is uh, three versions available. There is white, carbon black and the shot blue. Okay, first thing we get a piece of cardboard and that's the controller in the box. They put a lot of effort and quality on the box, I like that. There is a controller. Oh, it's coming 14 days Game Pass Ultimate. It's in the box. It was under here. It's coming a few AA batteries and the manuals. The most thing I hate about it, you have to have AA batteries or buy with $30 the charging kit on it with the cable. I don't know why they don't integrate battery inside. That's the new controller. Oh, it actually feels pretty good in the hand. It feels better than actually this one. The texture on the back here, it feels kind of better. I think they update that. Still have an airphone jack. And what they did, they removed the D-bad and they add a circle style and they add sheer button and now they have a little colors here they don't have any more colorful buttons for that one i think only the white one still came with the yellow blue green and red letters uh, i think this one is a little bit smaller and it's a little bit lower Yeah, this one feels bigger in the hand. This one is a little bit smaller, but it feels same. Triggers feel same, buttons feel same. Keypad, I have to get used to with the circle, but then otherwise it feels same. Both have the battery box in the back. You can put the AA batteries. Oh, this one is really tight. Or you can buy a battery kit. That's the battery kit for that controller, the older model. It goes in here and you charge with the USB micro or mini. But this one they updated with the USB-C. And uh, let's see, do this battery back works on it? Yeah, you can buy even the older one but you won't get the USB-C cable with it. It's coming super long USB to USB mini, but you can use your, you can recycle your old battery pack on that controller. Only thing you have to do, you have to get USB-C. This one goes on. The weight is same. Uh, both feels really premium, really good. Uh, if you still have the older one, do I recommend to upgrade for the newer one? Uh, honestly, no, you don't get anything special. It's just slightly smaller. If you prefer a smaller controller, then yes, yeah, sure. Uh, you have USB-C instead, uh, small USB, and you have an extra share button and no D-pad. Uh, yeah, 
I think it's not worth to upgrade if you have a fully functional older generation controller. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this review was helpful and see you guys next time.